cross, and in that manner, he hoped to draw all people to himself. And that's why I'm here today. I'm, I'm going to lift up the name of Jesus Christ. I hope I can draw you to Jesus, because you need him. That's right, you need him. You need Jesus Christ. You need Jesus. There's not one person here today who does not need Jesus Christ. We all need Jesus because we've all sinned. Some people told me, well, how do you know I've sinned? I've, I've never met you before. I don't have to know you personally to know that you've sinned. Because the Bible says all have sinned. There's no exceptions. We have all sinned. And that's why we're all in trouble with God. That's why I'm here today. Because I know you're in trouble with God. And I want to give you good news. There's one way you can solve the problem. One way you can get reconciled with God. Put your faith in Jesus Christ. You see, Krishna can't save you. Buddha can't save you. Muhammad can't save you. The Pope can't save you. The Virgin Mary can't save you. And you can't even save yourself no matter how hard you try to be good. Only Jesus Christ can save you. And He will. He wants to save you. That's right, sir. And if you trust Jesus Christ as your Savior, I'm going to see you in heaven. That's all God requires of us. I'm not here today to ask anyone to join a religion. I'm not asking you to become a religious person. I'm not asking you to follow a set of religious rules. I'm asking you to trust Jesus Christ. Put your faith entirely on Jesus Christ. And your sins will be forgiven. Amen. Thank you. Bless you. I'll see you in heaven. I know I'm going to see them in heaven because they trust Jesus. That's all God requires of us. Will you trust Jesus as your Savior? But many of you here today, you're trusting your religion. You're trusting your good deeds, your self-righteousness, and you'll end up in hell. Because there is no other way to get to heaven except trusting Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of your sins. Trusting Jesus Christ as your Savior. So the Bible says that we've all sinned, and because of our sin, we will all die and go to hell. But I've got good news for you. The Bible says, the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. The gift of God. So, so I want you to know, every person here today, God's offering you a gift. And the gift is eternal life in heaven. Do you want it? You want to go to heaven? Do you know that a gift is something that's offered freely? You don't have to work for a gift or earn it. You can't buy it. It's free. And God's offering you the free gift of its eternal life in heaven. Do you want it? Do you want to go to heaven when you die? This is not heaven. I know I, I love Las Vegas too, but it's not heaven. If you want to go to heaven when you die, you need Jesus Christ. You can't get there any other way. And it's a free gift. I've been asking people for a long time, do you want to go to heaven? It seems like a strange question to ask. It seems to me like everybody should want to go to heaven, but some, some people tell Thank me, you. no, they don't want to go to heaven. That's amazing to me. But if you're one of those people who says, yes, I want to go to heaven, I'm here today to tell you the way to get to heaven. There's only one way. Jesus Christ is the way. You see, Muhammad's not the way. Buddha's not the way. The Pope's not the way. The Virgin Mary's not the way. Jesus Christ is the way, the one and only way to get into heaven. You need to trust Jesus. You need to put your faith entirely on Jesus Christ. 